Is it always beneficial to have a strong set of yoga bandhas? What are the risks involved and how do we manage them? Yes, they're so helpful in many ways and levels in the practice. They keep our inner body, the vital organs of our inner body, protected and safe and light when we do the internal cleansing, deep kriyas, kumbhakas, advanced breath regulation. They provide us with the nourishment when we do a confinement or sadhana, if you fast, for example. During that period of time where you limit your consumption of food, yoga bandhas will help you draw more energy out of the breath. Yoga bandhas aid us in meditation, confinement, and sealing of the energy. So we could use the awareness in lifting the subtle force to the higher chakras of our astral system. And yoga bandhas promote our general health and wellness. So because through them, we're able to feel the onset of energetic stagnation. Thus, before they accumulate, we're able to dissolve them. So we stay healthy and this is free. However, when they become too involved, they could get out of hand. And this is where the problem lies. They could alter the functions of the nervous system and some of them could be permanent in nature. I will name just a few. Yoga bandhas will change the way you breathe. Essentially, inevitably, you will learn how to breathe well, which is beautiful. But too much of them could leave your body overstimulated. And then this could take a toll on your health because you will feel so much of this force inside. Uh, it could trick you. You won't be feeling hungry. You won't be feeling the need to sleep. And this could weaken your immune system. Right. Number two, since you're producing more energy, this energy will find its way out of our system and we stimulate the nerves. And this will overstimulate the nerves of our gums because the energy will exit our mouth. This is the common exit point of the energy because we're so brimming with sensitive nerves in our mouth. And this could lead to bleeding of the gums. Too much pranayam or breath regulation, energy channeling, could lead to bleeding of the gums. Yes, this is not serious. However, with your immunity you know, weakening, you're exposing yourself to common infections, which could lead to serious conditions later on. Yoga bandhas as well, since you're lifting the energy, could overstimulate your nervous system, which could leave uh, your mind restless your neurons damage, electrical short circuits, overload of the energy, and oversensitivity to energy could lead to uh, temporary psychosis. And yoga bandhas, because through them you will be able to feel the deeply hidden points of your body, those deep and sensitive joints of the heads and low back, which should never be touched in the first place. Yeah? If you know, they become too loose, it could cause nerve compression. Yes, when you're young, it's manageable, but when you reach that age where your joints inevitably wear out, this could lead to nerve compression and pain. Yes, yoga bandhas are very helpful, but there are risks. Right? So, how do we manage them? Take some periodic breaks. Periodic breaks are important to restore your body to its natural rhythm. Yeah. So when, for example, you feel that there are nights that you can't sleep because you're too restless, it means you're overdoing your elements. Take the break, one or two weeks. You don't have to do the deep ones. Uh, just to loosen the body with gentle asana. Just to release the superficial stagnation through gentle pranayama. That would be enough. And then when you go back, moderation is important. And then yoga bandhas, when they become too involved, it could uh, affect your, your, your emotion. You know, the ego gets so into it that we forget. You know? The goal is not us, but to promote you know, the realization, which is beautiful, you know, to help others, to promote the goodwill of all. We should be in control of our bodies, our mind, and our emotions. Right? So before you know, this damage gets permanent, yes, yeah, some of them could be permanent in nature. You know, we need to stop, we need to reassess, and we need to moderate. Have a meaningful and safe practice. Namaste.